Campanotus ants, one of, if not the, most diverse ant genus out there. There is a Campanotus species for almost anything you, as an ant keeper, could be looking for. Whether big or small, polymorphic, fast or slow growing, wood loving or not. In this video, however, we're going to focus on the Campanotus ligniperda queens that I did find last year. How are the queens doing? Did they manage to found their colonies successfully? And what ant farm will they be housed in? Watch this video until the end to find out! Hello and welcome or welcome back to Ants Vienna. If you're new to the channel, here we cover everything you need to know if you aspire to start keeping ants as pets. And if you are a long time subscriber, I owe you a sincere apology for not posting a new video sooner. A lot has happened in my personal life over the past few months, in fact a lot is happening behind the scenes at the moment and I can't wait to show you more when the right time comes. For now though, let's focus on our beloved Campanotus ligniperda ants, the largest European ant species. Here are the queens I caught last June 2023. I did share a few short videos of them at the time, so feel free to check those out. Every queen I caught managed to found a colony. That being said, some queens are naturally better than others in being mothers. So, while a few of the queens managed to raise up to 12 nanitics, others only managed half of that. In this video, I plan to take you with me and have you look over my shoulder on how I set up an ant farm also called a formicarium for these young, growing ant colonies, helping them to thrive in the future. For starters, a simple ant farm will always be the best choice. So go to IKEA and grab yourself a God Morgan set of acrylic containers. This is what we will be using in our footage. These containers already come with a hole in their top, so you simply need to glue some steel mesh onto it, so ants have proper ventilation and cannot escape. The next step I take, while completely optional, does help the ants to feel at home. So. I add some terrarium sand and disturb it evenly across the bottom of the container. Make sure the sand layer is no thicker than a couple of millimeters. Otherwise, the ants will dig under it and you won't be able to observe them as clearly. Before I continue, if you find this video helpful and or enjoyable, make sure to hit that like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm and let it show it to even more ant keepers that need help. And of course, subscribe for more Ants Vienna videos. Now back to our setup. In order to avoid some stress when taking the cover off, I apply paraffin oil along the upper end of the walls. This will be our escape prevention mechanism. When ants try to cross it, they slip down, so they can't get out. The thickness of the application 
should be around twice the length of a worker ant. For our Campanotus lignipardus ants, that means around 2 cm or an inch. To prevent the colony from drought, we will fill up a biformica liquid ant feeder with water. Remember, ants need access to water at all times. If you want to know more about what ants need to survive, I have already made a video on ant food sources. Speaking of food, for feeding purposes we shall add a 3D printed feeder to the setup. In this we will be placing our protein, our honey water, our sugar water, whatever you might be feeding your ants. With all of that done, let's now check how the worker ants of our ant colony react to their new home. If you are still watching, thank you for the support and let me spoil you with what's up next on Ants Vienna.